Yeah, peace, love, and light family. It's your boy Dudley Duds. Welcome back to the channel, man. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We talk about a lot of stuff. It's all about self-mastery. But anyways, y'all don't want to hang on to that, man. Let me stop talking. But yo, this is a recipe and a video that you guys have been asking me for a while. But honestly, I didn't feel like cooking it lately. But today, I'm going to show you guys how I make my Thai coconut curry recipe. And this recipe is 100% plant-based. Now, here's why I didn't feel like making it again. This is the toughest process right now. So now, I got to go in my backyard and actually grab a coconut. This is the reason why I didn't want to make it again because it's very laborious. But you know, this is how the ancestors cooked. But um, so the first step for me is to go get a coconut. So I'm about to go grab one real quick. Hopefully one's on the floor because if it's not, then I got to take off my um my shirt and pants and, and start climbing. This is exactly what I'm talking about, man. So I have to walk all the way up to the tree. I got to go grab one up there or I got to um, grab one of these, which has been sitting here for a while. But just because the exterior is bad, that, all right, cool. So this one should be ready. I just got to go break it open. And then we got a little one over here. Nah, that one's already been, um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but I got one right here, so, so let's go. Y'all wanted to see it, so I'm about to give it to y'all. These lizards out here going crazy though. And just like that, being outside in that Florida heat for like two seconds, got me about to sweat bricks. So now I gotta go to the garage while my rice is cooking. Um, I'm gonna show y'all that later. But right now, about to go to the garage, grab me a hammer, and then start breaking open this coconut. Like I said, this joint is mad work. Y'all was asking me, so I gotta do it for the home team, right? All right. So now I have to grab one of these tools. Really, I'm just looking for a hammer. And hopefully, I, oh. Hopefully I can find one so I can get this joint open because I'm, I'm very hungry. Oof. All right, so I'm in my garage right now. I just found the hammer. I got the coconut right here. Now I gotta crack it open. You feel me? So I'm about to. Now you know why I don't be making this drum like this because I would rather get a coconut from home than to buy one in the store. Although buying one in the store would be easier. But with this coconut, I know the soil that it was growing on, you feel me? So I prefer to eat stuff that's from the crib. And finally, man, finally, I got the coconut out. If y'all only knew how much work it was to get this little nut out, eating like this definitely makes you appreciate the advancement of the human civilization, for real. Because this joint was mad work. It took me like 10 to 15 minutes. You feel me? So, I'm thankful, man, for real. Because this joint, I'm not trying to do this every day. <laughs> Facts. Now it's time to open this joint. Here we go. Oh, this joint leaking. I was not trying to waste that juice. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bring this in the crib, man, because I was not trying to waste that juice. Damn it. Well, there you go. Alright, yo, it's open now, man. Alright, so now that I got the coconut open, I gotta go get the coconut meat out of it. Alright, yeah, so I got the coconut cut up. I'm gonna get out the meat. I got my red onions, peppers, walnuts, greens, and my cilantro. Now, to speed up the process, 
I already got the wild rice, it's already made, so now I just gotta make the curry. And the base of the curry, I'm gonna use some almond milk. So I'm about to cut off the red onion a little bit. Drop that in a pot right here. All right, so this is how I'm gonna get out the coconut meat. I'm actually gonna use a butter knife. And what I like to do is just kind of scrape from the inside, just kind of scrape the meat out a little bit. Stick it inside like this and just work my way down. All right, y'all, so that's the coconut meat cut up. Now, mind you, you don't have to do what I'm doing. You can easily go to a store and get you some shredded coconut. The reason I'm using these coconuts from my house is because we have a bunch of them. They're going bad, and I might as well use what I got rather than spending money on, on coconuts. So now that I have the meat, I'm going to put it inside the blender, and then I'm going to use some almond milk for the base, and I'm going to blend it up. And this is going to be the sauce. All right, so now it's a thick, creamy coconut sauce. I got the fire on a medium heat, and I'm gonna pour this inside with the onions and the peppers. And now we're gonna let that cook. So while the coconut sauce was getting warm, I cut up some fresh cilantro. I also strained my chickpeas. And of course, in addition to this, I always add walnuts to make it a more thicker, and richer sauce. All right, man, so unfortunately, while I was cooking, I think some water got in my camera. So the next few clips, man, the audio not gonna sound the best, but y'all just gonna have to deal with it, you feel me? <laughs> so pardon me, man. All right, so now that it's cooking, I'm gonna add my walnuts, and I'm also gonna start adding my spices. So I add a handful of walnuts in there. So the spices and herbs that I use for the curry, our fresh dill, I love to use dill because of the taste and it's an alkaline herb approved by Dr. Sebi. I also use fresh sea salt, pepper, Italian seasoning consisting of oregano, basil, and thyme, as well as a little bit of sage. I put some organic turmeric inside of it, as well as pepper, liquid aminos, organic garlic powder, and of course, nutritional yeast for that cheesy taste. Ah, yeah. So the curry's about done. The last thing I always do is I cut up a fresh lime and I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice over it. That's how it's looking right now, man. Pretty good. We got some pepper, cilantro, onion, a bunch of spices in there, chickpeas, coconut milk. You know, time of the same course to complement that. I got my wild rice. So after adding some lime, which I love, I also put some fresh greens on it, stirred it around. And by that point, the curry is ready to be eaten. If you've been an OG subscriber for a while, man, you see me cook a bunch of things. But I gotta be honest, out of all of the stuff that you've made, that you've seen me make on this channel, this probably has to be one of my favorite recipes, just because how clean it is, how much energy I get, and how delicious it is. The kitchen smelled so good. The very last thing I added was one spicy pepper. And I just throw one in there so it can kind of balance out the whole dish and give it that nice kick. All right, y'all. So this is the final result, man. This is my wild rice and coconut curry recipe. Got a few slices of avocado, some extra lime because, you know, I'm from the islands, man. I love citrus. So about to dive into this for real, man. I'm hungry. Time for the taste test. This just, Yo, like, I wish y'all could smell this right now. This smells so good. And now time for the taste test, man. You see it. You see it. Ooh, ooh. I wish I could smell this, man. There's so many, there's so many uh, aromas in the air. <laughs> this one smells so good, man. So let me try it out. You know. Oh, 
Where my manners, man? I forgot the best of food, man. Hold up. All right. Mmm, yo. Yo, it's like the very first bite is creamy and then you get that spicy kick to it. Can't beat it. Mm. Cannot beat it. But yo, it's crazy like, it's like a nice creamy coconut sauce and then you get the kick but you taste the fresh dill and the citrus and, and the sea salt and pepper. But yo, thank you for tuning in, man. I know this is a recipe that y'all wanted for a minute. As you see, it's a process. I gotta get the coconut, crack it open, get the meat out, get the water, blend it, all that. So, thank you for tuning in, man. Let's keep taking care of ourselves, man. All right? Healthy mind, body, and spirit, as always. If you like this recipe, make sure to check out my food slash recipe playlist. Also give this video a like, man. Give it a thumbs up, help boost it, all right? Hit the bell so you can notify when I upload all of that. As always, stay blessed.